Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shiva Kalash Shambhong, 28-year-old meditation master. Here we have Dennis. I'm gonna introduce Dennis myself because Dennis met me through my YouTube channel and he said, hey, can, can I come to volunteer in this? So basically we met through my YouTube and I want to interview him, asking him what it's like to meet me. You know, why? Because people watch my YouTube channel and he's watched my YouTube channel and he found me through YouTube and I'm wondering what it's like from his perspective, seeing me on YouTube now, seeing me in person, and now we're staying together. We're, we're uh, you know, uh, we're gonna be uh, in the city for some day, so we are kind of getting familiar with each other, as well as um, just getting a fresh perspective of what it's like, who I am, and things like that. Okay. So without getting lost too much, let's ask you tell tell something about yourself, and if you want to, and tell me how you found my YouTube channel, and what uh, inspired you to watch me in the first place. Yeah. So I'm um, oh. <laughs> I'm messing up. Okay, uh, Cut. no Welcome. cutting, no cutting. Okay. It's okay. Uh, I'm 21. Uh, I uh, I'm from Germany and uh, I came to volunteer because uh, I think I uh, uh, synchronized or I uh, was uh, I had the same vision as him with this place, uh, the ashram. Like I thought it would be a very cool place and it uh, turned out that it didn't work out in the end. Uh, but yeah, I, I found your YouTube, cha YouTube channel um, because uh, it got recommended to me after I, had, uh, after I had worked on my spirituality a lot. And uh, yeah, these kinds of videos started getting recommended to me. And yeah, I just saw it also as a sign or the algorithm wanted me to see this video, I had the feeling, so yeah, that's uh, how okay. I found it. Yeah. And tell the viewers what it's like to meet me as a person, what am I like, tell others that have never seen me before, what is this person like to me in a flash? Well, you're very serious, obviously. Um, you uh, are uh, a little bit close-hearted, like you don't let everyone into your uh, sphere, uh, which is, I believe, kind of your spiritual practice, that you isolate yourself to get the maximum potential benefit. Yes, and, right. Yeah, but um, I think in essence, every everyone is the same. Everyone uh, has the same physio physiology, the same psychological structure. So. Um, Maybe there's also some sides in you that you try to uh, suppress a little bit. That's yes. my experience. Yeah. Okay. And uh, compared to watching me on YouTube versus me being in real life, any differences that you noticed? Any kind of, oh, this is weird, or oh, this is interesting or unique? Like, mm. uh, it's not really like you're um, not so different uh, from the video, so. Everything that I said about you, um, the, what I noticed, I would probably also notice in the YouTube videos. Like I see it and kind of feel it, what, like how you are, your energy. So I don't think you hold back in the videos. You're actually saying what you think and don't uh, <laughs> don't care, <laughs> yeah. which is which is good, but can be also destructive and. Uh, polarizing yeah yes so give me some strengths that you see in me and also some weaknesses <clears throat> strengths um, obviously you know how to uh, harness spiritual energy how to cultivate spiritual energy and um, you take it seriously uh, weakness maybe I would say which is uh, a little bit of paradox is that um, the connection to the people are a bit gets lost. So I think yoga, uh, yogi said, means union. So you disconnect yourself from the people going higher, uh, but you disconnect. But maybe that's just a, um, a struggle for everyone that gets high on the spiritual path, uh, that they go more alone yeah yes <clears throat> he's right it's true 
I've disconnected myself from other people because I want to progress farther and I saw that being entangled and connected to people and both connected is um, quite challenging and also there's a lot of drawbacks I don't want to get entangled with them maybe that's a uh, you know whatever so something definitely have to work on and I don't want to be connected to people still I and mean, I'm still kind of detaching but the hard space needs to be uh, explored and evolved and that's kind of what I'm doing and uh, actually Dennis here is helping me with that because like this yeah uh, okay what else next topic <clears throat> where do you see this going this YouTube channel or this community that I have or you, even me in general do you have any predictions or thoughts about this well, interesting uh, I think when you stay consistent and strong on the path then uh, you will definitely uh, grow your audience um, I mean it's also possible that you just stop and <laughs> just pursue something else or I don't know I don't think I'll ever make stop making YouTube videos I will continue going on this and because why this is my intention for life is to amplify myself, my name, my brand and to uh, you know, reach the whole world. I want to touch each and every single one of you out there on planet Earth in some way or another. So I don't see this stopping anytime soon. But hey, who knows, tomorrow I might fall in love with a girl and, and then I'll be off into the... <laughs> yeah, that's life. Yeah, that's life. But yeah, but I could... Uh sections they uh, commented about uh, inviting you to places like this Ephraim project that Well, this has been interesting. Do you have any uh, last final thoughts or final words? Closing words. Uh, no, thank you for Thank you for interviewing me. Uh, yeah. That's it. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.